What is happening out there, fellow YouTubers? <clears throat> we are back. Thorin and his band of merry men. We got a one ruffian, the rest of the ruffians died. Some free holders and a freesian. Now, I want to thank everybody for subscribing, thank everybody for the likes, thank everybody for the comments. Uh, there was a comment about bugs, and yet this came is full of bugs. If you watched a couple of videos ago, you know I got stuck over here and had to quit and reload. So, I'm going to try to keep playing through the bugs. Hopefully they'll get it fixed soon. Maybe they won't. I don't know. Um, this game is is has a lot more going on in the original Blade Warband, so um, I'm hoping they get that stuff fixed right away. But I'm gonna keep trudging through here, keep making these videos, keep trying to experience this, you know, buggy gameplay as uh, as much as I possibly can. Now, when we left off, let's see where we are at. We got this. Um, okay, Reginhard looks like he's wounded, but we can upgrade him. Can you tell me about your skills? Now, this guy, he's he's got, you know, he came pretty much pre-programmed with some, uh, as a warrior kind of tracker type person. So I'm going to keep that going. Um, I'm going to give him, uh, no, not that. I want to give him some iron flesh and I want to make him better at training. I want to get his training up a lot because I want my guys to train real quick. What is the statistics? That's pretty cool. Uh, important, important. Oh man, hang on. Missed the, uh, the points. Okay. And so he's probably going to use one or two hand weapons. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to focus on that. Never mind. Now my guy, I uh, have to go back here, uh, skills, okay, so, what do I need, I need to, I want to increase my party speed, um, as possible, so my leadership, I can't, uh, persuasion, engineer, I'm going to keep amping that up a little bit, uh, got this again. even though, you know, you could, it, it's probably better to get other people in there, so you can focus on other, other skills, and get another guy in there, and beef his engineering way up, but, uh, for now, I'm going to put a few points, because when we start to, uh, to sexies, I want to be able to make sure that I'm a quest. We left off this quest. I can't afford. Maybe I can. I don't even know how much gold I can't. I have. Let me go back to that real quick. All right, twenty seven sixty four. Uh, the Chinga want not wants nine head of cattle. They're pretty expensive. So I got about twenty six hundred uh, pennies. Um, the boats. Uh, that's just I guess the regular shit. Revenge. Um, this is kind of our auction story quest. Um, Charles Double H wants to kill the king. So we took that quest. Chief Sander. That's one right now. I need to. Uh, get back there and probably fire. I have very little troops, so my guys are hurting bad. Um, this is just telling me another. Oh, see that? He's, he's working storyline quests scattered about. That. I don't like that. Uh, I guess that's page notes, but book notes. I don't really get the difference between those two. So, let me go here first. And wait. And wait. There we go. Recruit some more volunteers. I'll take the one. Uh, I'll leave. I don't think I need any food right now. Let's go. No, let's not go around there. Let's go up here and recruit a couple people. I'm not, you can hit control space and it speeds up your, your overworld map speed, but it, it's really buggy, so recruit these guys. I don't, I don't know how hardcore this battle's gonna be. Um, I mean, if Sin Bullneck is fighting, and if he's terrorizing the Chinga, then I would assume... You know what, the guys? You're getting a little too close to me. Let's turn her down. Um, I'm charging. Anyway, if Sven Bullneck, who is, seems to be the main boss of this this whole campaign, this story campaign, I would assume it's going to be a rough battle. So me and my, you know, merit of, of 10 or 12 people probably won't be doing good. These guys are so fast, it is unrealistic for me to even try to keep up with them. So, while we're running, um, I want to, speaking of bugs, I want to let you guys know, if anybody else is experiencing a hellaciously long load time, when um, we first load the game up, or first start the game, you get that screen, where it's got the loading, where are you going? Coward. Ah. Oh, you just, you're bobbing and weaving. Practicing, practicing for an archer shooting at you. You know, all these guys have some rocks. So, anyway, it, it loads, it gets about halfway through and it's just loading textures. And I mean, it takes a good two or three minutes. I wonder if anybody else experienced the same thing that I'm experiencing as far as those little times. So, let me know in the comment section. And again, I really appreciate you guys subscribing and liking and commenting. Really, you know, it makes it makes one feel that he should push on. Oh man, my last rocking was killed. Was this just a rock battle? Yes. Come in and do all the work. What am I paying you guys for? Oh shit. Come on, right up. Alright, it's getting dangerous for me. Oh shit. Get really dangerous. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Now they're running. I guess I need to get some guys who have more than just fucking rocks and slings. I am teetering on the point. 
of dying. Oh! Oh, shit. This is some fucking crazy shit. Ah, thank Odin. Odin be praised. Alright, so these last guys are gonna run off the map. I assume. They're going the roundabout way. I guess that's one of the bugs. So the AI is really buggy, this game. Um, it's not breakable, as in, like, you cannot play the game. I mean, it's, it's borderline. It depends on what your definition of that is. But, I mean, you could play it. It just makes these battles a huge pain in the ass. And I can imagine when you're working with about, you know, a couple hundred people on the map, it's going to be ridiculous. All right, so we won. We had one guy die. Rain hard got wounded. Um, but the reason I'm doing this, I mean, I'm trying to get expensive for my men. I'm trying to capture prisoners to make money. I'm trying to get some sweet loot. So I'm going to lay claim to all the loot first. I don't even know if, if allowing my men to get the loot, if they'll even like, arm themselves. I, I think it, it, I had to guess I would say it probably just helps morale um, rather than, you know, rather than letting my army loot, taking all the shit, and they're not going to equip it, and they're not going to sell it and make me any money. So we destroyed that. They're just going to, it's probably just going to give more morale. Which, you know, you can, you can get that in other ways. So, we are going to lure him east. Can't recruit anybody. Uh, what's my food? My food's looking good. What are these? Before I sell anything, I don't think I can sell anything. I'm gonna make sure. Let me give Rag and Hard his, uh, something else besides these tattered ass rags. And I don't even know what kind of. Oh, he's got a light long spear. That's not bad. 20 light armor, so none of this. His two makes 16 and 2. So, uh, it's all garbage. His hat's 13. There's no comparison either. I thought maybe, you know, they would do that when they started using the DLC. Um, you know, I scroll it is and it shows me what I have, shows me what Rag and Hard has. You know, some pop up, but. It, doesn't. That's. What's it, 13? You know, he's. I'm gonna give him a sling. Why not? Um. There's nothing else to give you, Ragnar. Right it's a Fusta Ballas. Uh. Let's give you that. It's your secondary weapon. Even though. I can already see it. He's just gonna hang out with the rest of my men in the fucking background, just slinging away. Fucking toiling thing. Uh, toiling thing that doesn't Oh, I got more skill points. What do I need? I'd like that. I'd like so many people die. So. And I'd like to be able to see farther. Okay. And. That'll be that. Uh, let's see some of the kingdom report. You need to be the ruler of your faction in order to access your control panel. Okay. So, we are going to the Changa. Now, I'm going to save. I don't, you know, I got a fucking shitty little band of guys. Half of them are hurt. I should probably wait. What else can I do? Um, my other mission is to kill the king. Deliver nine head of cattle. Let's, you know, let's try that first. Let my men gather their, uh, their vigor, their stamina back. But, you know, second thought, I got to burn nine cattle to the Kinga. And I don't know if the current situation is going to be conducive to me driving there with a whole herd of cattle. So, Let's just do this, you know what? Let's do it. Fuck it. So late night and your men need some rest. Come back in the morning. Okay. Let's camp. Uh, you can recruit prisoners. No one accepts it, but that... Thirty minutes late. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can send scouts ahead. You can forage for food. You can fortify your camp. I'm just gonna wait. Uh, okay. Let's, let's just chill from this time a little bit. Let's try now. I'm gonna hit him to Chinga. You can see that the townspeople are fleeing. Some of the braver ones and a few of the kids. You cannot see them well, but from this lost, but it isn't hard to imagine what they are full of warriors. I cannot help but return to memories of that naval battle. Battle where Sven Bolnek attacked your ship. Now oh, finally, the big Viking is within reach. From the Chinga, you notice that a man leads running. He looks like a warrior. Knows you he heads towards you. Uh, hmm. Just should I recruit more men? You know what? I'm gonna do it. Let's just charge in. For and thank goodness you came. You do not remember me, but I'm one of the king's men who are defending the village where few. Thunkirk promised us that you were coming, but we did not believe him. Nobody else has come to our aid. I've been ordered to travel to the king to urge his entrance. I reckon that I won't be in time because the king's already approaching. Uh, continue on your way. Go tell the king. As you approach the village, you see the queue of refugees fleeing to Chingo. They walk loaded with their belongings and pull heavy wagons, so they move very slowly. If you don't stop the Vikings on the beach, all the refugees will die. I have a feeling I'm about to die, but... I can't in good conscience leave the Chinga who saved me from imminent death can't leave them to their their ways. Man, I got some real bad stuttering there. Alright, so we got some friends. Uh, who are you? Thunker. I was about to attack you. Thorn, you're here, thank God. Viking ships are coming. It's Finn Bullneck. He wants to destroy us. Calm down, Thunker. I'm here to help. The young people of the village have gathered on the beach. The king's troops to try to prevent landing. It's Finn Bullneck. They are few. They're coming to our aid. Uh, where are the men of the Jarl? Or, I mean, we'll pay. Where are the men of the Jarl? He will not come. I know some of the people here, some messengers do look to the king. But he did not respond. Normally I would not talk about this openly for their Danish problems, but Jarl Double H has left my people to their fate. In fact, I fear that all this is because of him. He seems nervous and I go stream his hands. I know people who work in the Jarl's house. It's rumored that he aspires to the throne of Frisia. I should not say this, but Sven has been out there in the past. It's been in the past. I fear that he's about to attack and to change the Prince's warriors to help the Jarl capture the throne, but these are just my assumptions. 
Hmm. I'll take care of that later. I know he's still patient. Ick. Bucky. Hey, and that is totally not how you pronounce it, I'm sure. Thank you for coming to help Thorin. I'll join our people now. A Huskar for the King Leeds' defense. Follow his order. Please fight with us. Good luck. Good luck. All right, I'm gonna be stacked. Are these villagers. Okay. Those must be the villagers. These. These are. These are, these are farmers. Okay, what do we do? Who are these people? Now, Huskar shouts, listen, hold the line, and we will win. Those who come are Vikings. We are Danish warriors. Huskar shouts, Thor, here are battle crying. Prepare the Valkyries. Tonight, we hide in your halls. So those are the kingmen. These are farmers. They're all rocking my uh, tree. Okay, I think some of my men are here. I'm not looting. I'm just gonna let them do their dirt. Come on, fellas. Help for that. There we go. I'm gonna work to Han. <laughs> that did not sound right. Bitch. Oh shit. Get the move off here. I get these guys. I'm just gonna fucking run around and fucking side straight. Okay. Damn rock. Farmers, where are you? Ooh, that, I know that hurt. Come on, bitch. Alright. I don't really know the stats of this battle, but I'm just gonna run around and try to fucking axe chomp some motherfuckers. Try to get them surrounded. Bitch. Take your ponytail on the ship. Suck on that. Back against me. That's right. Right, I think we're doing pretty good. I hope. Ooh. You're about to get fucking muscled up. Back. Ooh. Anybody else? Nope. We just fucked them up. Where's Vin Bull, faggot? Alright. So we just. Blood drips from your hand to your elbow. Around you there is only death, and your ears are filled with the realms of the dying. The Vikings defeat return to the sea, leaving behind any dead and wounded, but the cost has been very high. Sven Bolnek is not among the assailants, and that surprised you. He was devoted for his. Where then is your hated enemy? Thunder's words resonate in your mind. Perhaps it's time to pay a visit to the Jarl of Kinemir. He has some explanations to give. That he does. I think he's two-timing me. I think he is two-timing me indeed. Alright. So. I don't fucking bring cows back to the Chingin' It's looted, I don't know. I don't know if I can access the town. Yeah, it's a little bit. You can't do anything with it. Um, you know, nobody's leveling enough, even though I don't have very many people. I, I find that surprising. Let me try to recruit some people from this monastery real quick. Uh, can I recruit? I re you know, in the quest I something about recruiting. I don't really know if I can. I guess I can. Pills the monastery. Fairy will carry you and your men for eight pennies. Maybe. Actually, they will walk you across the water on a horse. That's the powers of Jesus. Alright. I don't even know if the you're here. But, hmm. I need some fruits. One free holder. Alright, let's go to Lord's Hall. Make sure he's here. Um, there he is. Who's that? Who are you previously? Let me talk to you first. We meet again, Thorn. Let's let the horn be to the health of our host, y'all. Now, what is it? Do you have any tasks for me? No. Um, I don't know you. I'm Thorn at your service. I'm Honum Rabo, the ruler of the Kingdom of Frisia and the Lord of Thorstead. Let us let the horn be to, our, to the health of our host, y'all. Double H. Um, hmm. I can talk to him about the Yarrow Kingdom. I'm gonna wait. And so, Thorn at your service. Who are you? He's the daughter. She's the daughter of Jarl. Dr. Carrollton, daughter to Hagon. Here, feast. Okay. Well, my lady, I would like to confess myself to my sergeant Myra. I hope you mean that. Such a thing to say. I would like it very much. Good to see you, sir. Indeed. Good to see you again, Thorn. I wish to welcome you to my hall on this auspicious occasion. Now, what is it? Hmm. <laughs> Jarl Double H has saved a chinga from Sven. He takes your side. He's curved down. His face is deep red. He looks at you with fury. What mission did he give you? Should you be busy killing the king? And what have done instead with the aid of the Chinga, knowing that it was not going to please me? You killed the very men who were here to support me to take the crown if you killed the king. You have betrayed me, your Jarl. I swear upon my name, Jarl Double H. You will pay deal for it. Beware, Jarl. Those men were Sven's. You are a traitor. I'm your enemy now. He's fighting with you and weak. You are full of help. You take the throne. Hmm. I'm going to go with that. I've served you well. In return, you lied to me about Sven. Now you threaten me. Yes, these men are going to take the fort for the village and wait for more troops from Denmark. Now it's impossible. Even if my dream is a snake in the eye, I will think I'm a traitor and will want my head because of you. Go away, you're no longer welcome here to meet again. I do not know if I will be able to control myself. Someday we will meet again and I'll kill you. I'm looking forward to it. Scum. Alright, fucker. Is that your daughter? Who are you? Daughter to Jarl Gotra Carrollson, daughter to Hagon. Okay. So now she is, uh, just got fucked. So now I am going to talk to you about the Jarl Kenemir. I know what you're going to tell me. My nephew warned me about the tricks to discredit him. Ooh, Thorin, you are not welcome in my house. Damn. Everybody here is against me. Alright, what about you? <sighs> Can't talk to him in private. Um, okay, well, I'm not welcome here. Because Double H is a traitor. Hmm. 
So, we have successfully stopped the coup of the RLWH, who we were helping before, but not really good. So, we're going to from Killing the King. Our quests, uh, keep your running plans. So, I should probably leave Frisia. Hmm. So, this is Denmark. It's Norway. Where? The king? Where is the king, I wonder? I don't, I don't know if I, if I can cross the sea yet. So, probably my best bet. Can I even get out of here? I don't even know how. I have to buy a ship. You're off camera is an ambitious and dangerous man. I admire your fortitude to buy him help six you despite the consequences of sad. You're a good person. Frisia can be hostile land for now, but I'm sure from this. Did what I had to do the off camera as a traitor, and I want him far from me. Hmm. Puts his hand in short and smiles. I told you he's a snake. Now you are free from him, and we should leave Frisia soon as I fear he will look for revenge. I've heard in the kingdom of Mirror shall see the warriors. You had bid for Arad. Kingdom of Where? Kingdom of Mirrors. Ah. Mirrors. It's a long way away. It's gonna go to Denmark, but I think that's where Sven Bullneck is, so I probably need to get, uh, get pretty legit first. Let me try to... Okay. Let me try, click right there, and see what direction my guy takes. Oh shit. Ah, I have to go here and sail out. I get it. Alright. So we're gonna go to Dorstead, and we're gonna sail to Mirsk, because that seems to be what story's point is. So, um... Let's leave here for now. Okay. So I'm going to cut it here, you guys, and thanks so much for watching. Um, again, thanks.